Woo! It's March and it's still freezing in LA. I don't know what's up. One, two, three, four. Welcome back to World Drum Club, everybody. I am Kalani, your host and teacher. World Drum Club. So what I've got for you in this video is a set of three um, conga soloing ideas that you can build on. And this comes from a request uh, by a fellow percussionist in China who asked me to do a video on conga soloing. So this is for you. And uh, so let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I've got some notation here. So if you're a patron of the site, you can download the PDF over at patreon.com slash Kalani. Um, it's nothing that complicated. Uh, I'll show you here. And I'm gonna be using the um, Drum Jam app as for accompaniment, and I've done a video on this before. But let's listen to the first thing. So what this is, I'll try to explain these in a little bit of technical musical terms, but also just, you can just hear it. It's not that complicated. So I've got this as the background. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's what's happening as a foundation. I'll be playing all these to that. The first one I'm just calling 16th, well, eighth note. We're doing these in cut time. So it's one, two, three, Four. Um, these will be eighth notes syncopated. So it's every eighth note except the downbeats. Ba 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 Right? I'm just playing in the spaces uh, between the main beats. So real simple, I'm gonna play that on the drum and then I'm gonna change the sounds to make it a little more interesting. But the first time through, just the rhythm. something a little different. You can't just play the same thing. And I'm not suggesting, I want to be clear, I'm not suggesting that you do this as your solo. These are just elements that you can throw in there and then you're going to put these all together later. So let's move on to the second figure. We'll call it a figure. Um, it's kind of building on this. So this one is ba ba boom ba 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 boom ba 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 Ba, 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 bam, bam, ba. So I'm gonna play the rhythm by itself and then I'll change the sounds and I'll, you know, change it up a little bit. Number two. Number three is very different. It's kind of like a less is more thing. And this is built on dotted quarter notes. Dotted quarter notes. Why are they dotted? Nobody knows. 
A dotted note is a note that's equal to one and a half times its original value. So what? What does it sound like? Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so, so dotted quarter notes. I'm gonna start these on the beat first time through so you can hear the relationship. What we're doing here is we're creating kind of a polymetric thing. It's syncopation, but it's all the notes are equidistant that I'm gonna be playing. They're just not fitting exactly on the rhythm framework in a way that is clear and comfortable for a lot of people. It creates a little bit of tension. I'm gonna stop talking and play it. Here's our foundation. So I'm gonna play dotted quarter notes so you can hear what that's like. Okay, so what this is, right? We've talked about this before, polymetric or polyrhythmic. This is a, what, four over three? Four over here, three over here. Okay, so that's at the root. Now, we're gonna change the tones. I'm also gonna start on the upbeat. So I'm not starting on the downbeat, I'm starting on the upbeat. So instead of starting um, right on one, I'm gonna start on the upbeat of one, like one E, two, da, de, de. so the two will be on the downbeat. Anyway, you don't need, just listen, just listen to it. Okay, one last thing about this one is this creates some tension in the music. We've got a four against three kind of feel, you know, polymetric. So what I need to do is resolve that every once in a while. But this is something that you can use to create a little tension in the music. It's a longer phrase than the other two that I've shown you. And I like to mix and match all of these elements. So I'm gonna start with this one again and then I will be resolving it and kind of changing it up, maybe interjecting a little bit of the other two figures. Have you forgotten them already? And gonna mix all this stuff up now. I don't know why it does that every time I stop it. Um, okay, are we good? Are we happy? So like I said, um, these are just basic rhythmic concepts. Um, I have made a PDF for supporters of the channel. Um, you can grab that at patreon.com slash Kalani and consider being a patron of the channel, all right? Like and subscribe if this is useful. I hope it's useful. Um, that's why we're here. Leave me your kind comments below. Any questions? If you want to add anything, go ahead. Do it. Thanks for supporting our World Drum Club community. I'm Kalani. I'll see you in a future lesson.